Good morning, my free folk. We are in for another wild ride. Um, before we get started, do me a favor. Subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. And if you want to see what I'm trading, join me on Twitter. It's off. No, it's not. It's trading underscore off. So at trading underscore off. Yes, yes, I'm an old dude and this shit just does not flow. But um, I'll get it. Um, I think if we start beating up seniors for the lack of computer literacy, it will motivate a lot more of us. So anyway, um, real quickly, let's have a look at the news. So the futures are um, all over the place, man, all over the place. But I think we're going to open up flat, but we'll talk about that uh, shortly. That's what they're talking about. Um, and then everything's all about earnings and um, yeah, you know, Kramer going back and forth, defending his, uh, his his bad picks of Boeing, which in the long run, everything's going to work out. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's how analysts work. Um, basically, you say something enough, eventually it's going to hit. As a matter of fact, I did that with a uh, takeover when I was um, in the industry. I was very vocal. Um, I did that with a takeover of Quaker Street Oil. Um, and uh, it was when I first started building the firm back in uh, the, the uh, mid-90s. Um, so... Here's everybody doing business with uh, the communists over there that are looking to suppress your freedom and uh, are into um, 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 human right atrocities. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's like funny, like they're um, they're they're, they're um, pretty much doing a genocide on a minority over there. And we protest um, any goods that come from that region. We don't worry about the country or the government that's that's doing all this. We we protest any goods coming from that region. What a joke. What a joke. Um, and then, you know, we have this Bozo Biden in office. So um, it just invites um, invasion into our allies, which is what's going on with uh, Ukraine, which is what happened with Obama when, you know, this Bozo Biden was um, the VP. And don't get me wrong, man, big Obama fan. I'm a big Obama fan. Um, but, you know, a week, Democrats are weak. That's the bottom line. They're weak. Yet, you know, um, Russia knows it. And they're going to walk all over these guys, walk all over these guys, you know. But we didn't like Trump because he was a misogynist. So, you know what? Don't marry your daughter to him. Um, but, yo, and let me tell you something, man. I was a CEO and I'm a dick. I'm a dick. My family knows I'm a dick. Everybody accepts the fact that I'm a dick. CEOs, presidents, powerful people, they're dicks. Because you have to be a dick to make the dick decision. So, yo, you know what? Trump was a dick. He was a dick. He was the perfect guy for the job. You want a dick. You know, nice guys, this is what happens when you get nice guys. Your 401ks tank and countries get invaded. Um, so anyway, I digress again. There you go. Um, nothing going on over here. Um, in news, not really interested. Um, some reports. Bank, um, we got GDP growth rate. That's going to be important, man. We're going to want to see um, um, how our economies do it, see how that affects it. Durable good orders. Um, yeah, you know, we want to see the strength. I mean, it, it's bittersweet. We see strength and then we have to worry about interest rate hikes. But I think the interest rate hikes are there. So we shouldn't worry about the strength. We see weakness. We have a problem with the economy slowing down. And you see all these talking heads on the news. Everybody's bitching and moaning that the feds are behind the curve, which I don't think is the case at all. I think there um, are extenuating circumstances here. And I think we're going to we're going to um, as fast as um, inflation took off, I think it's going to slow down just as quickly. Um, but down the road, they're going to be like, oh. Yeah, you know, the Fed didn't do enough to keep the economy from going into recession or what have you, which we're not going to go into recession. We're just going to slow down a little bit. Um, jobless claims are going to be important, too. You want to see that rise, man. Some of the problem here is um, in, uh, uh, labor um, costs. And I don't know when they're going to start issuing visas and opening up the borders. You know, there are tons of foreigners who want to work and do this job. No more of this bullshit that foreigners are taking uh, U.S. jobs. It's crack the shit. we got jobs out there we can't fill them, right? Um, make the work visas easier. Get them in here. I don't know about you guys, but my family didn't fight the Revolutionary War. My family came to this country in the early 1900s, running from Mussolini and communism um, in, in, in um, communism in, in or, or, or dictatorship. I really don't know uh, 
I think it was more a dictatorship um, in Italy. And that's how my family got here. And, and other parts of Europe, actually, on um, one side of my family, they, they all came from. So, um, so, yo, that's how a lot of people's families got here. Open up the borders. Let's get some fucking labor in here. And we get some labor in here. They're also consumers. Right. They're consumers. They buy our goods. They buy our stuff. They go to our schools. They grow. They go from the working class to the or from the blue collar to the white collar, you know, generational um, to present. So anyway, lots of solutions to the problems we're having. Nothing being done. God bless America. And, yo, you know what? The country is great. The people are great. The general concept of the country is great. The politicians suck. They suck. They're just out for their for their own good and the good of their party. We elect an independent. We get a third party in there, and then we have a true democracy because we break the monopoly. And we don't allow a monopoly anywhere in the country, but we have a monopoly in the White House, Republican, Democrat. They share power. They organize this thing and they keep the independent out because they understand if we get a third party in, they lose their power. They lose their influence. They can't keep fucking the the American citizen. Okay, now we're getting out of hand, right? Um, Okay, I digress. Let's get to um, let's get to the, the market. So here we are. We're looking at the futures and I like to look at the 240 on the uh, futures um, and we'll jump over to the 240 and here we go um man oh man oh man oh man are we building a head and shoulders I think I think I think that I shall never see Let's get rid of that. Um, Okay, so, eh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, the the momentum's on the uptrend. And I'm just, I'm afraid we're going to retest this bottom today. We're going to open up flat and retest that bottom today. And that's that's what I'm expecting. Um, So that's what I'm going to keep my eye on. Uh, this, you could call this a bear flag and a break. I mean, you have three hours. So um, what are we looking at? It, it's seven o'clock, so 10 o'clock. So really, if we break this low right here, um, 42.81, um, then we have, um, Looks like 50 points down. It's not impossible. Then we have um, we have a trigger of a bear flag. And this is what I fear. Although there was a buy-in into it and we're going to open up flat. So we open up. Um, we'll probably open up right about here. Could go anywhere. Man. Could go anywhere. I mean, we could we could trade around for the afternoon and then, you, you know, break. This could become the trigger of the bear flag and we could break to the downside. So I'm going to have to have a, a bearish bias man, based on this. Um, and and um, I really I mean, the the the, um, the flavor of the market has been to revisit the lows um, of the overnight trading. So this is uh, the daily right here, and this is today's day. And look at this. This is pretty much indecisiveness, man. This is really consolidation, you know. And um, you could say that for, on the daily uh, charts, we are consolidating. And we'll take a look at this on uh, SPX to confirm it. We're consolidating in this range, you, you know. Um, and so that's not a bad thing. The, the, um, the momentum is rolling over a little bit. So we may get a little consolidation and then take off to the upside, which would make sense because when you have a tremendous move down like this, you have a tremendous amount of momentum. It's like um, driving a car. You know, you race a car really fast down. You can't cut the wheel and turn it around. You've got to make that, woo, that loop. But, you know, when the car comes down a little bit, then you can, you know, you can whip the ass of the car around and take off to the upside. So with all this momentum, you get a little consolidation and then psh, a rip to the upside. Um so that's what we have to we have to watch the behavior of, of this bar. Uh, really, I would rather not break below yesterday's low um, tomorrow. 
uh, today in the S and P. But I have to feel that we're going to revisit um, the the low of the futures right here. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be watching for. Let's take a quick peek, if you will, at um, at SPX. Dink, but dink, dink. Um, all right, so. I mean, across the board, your 30 minute bar, you got a bear flag, right? We 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 break below this low and we go into a bear flag on the 30 minute bar. On the 60 minute bar, we've got a bear flag. We break below this low and um, we we trigger uh, the bear flag on the 60 minute bar. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. So if we open flat, we're going to open right here, and then we'll break right there. I bet we break, test this low right here, which let's see if that does it for us as far as the futures go. I don't think it does. Um, the low is uh, 403. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, that's probably what we're going to do. We're probably going to test this low right here on the 60-minute. And um, because the momentum is up, if it can't get that momentum and break this low right here, then watch for a failed bear flag, right? That's where it, the market comes down, tests this low, and then trades back up and, and goes above this right here. And that's a failed bear flag. And if a bearish move fails, it usually indicates a bullish move. And then start the, uh, the trend up. I do believe that the markets are oversold, although my indicators... Um, are not really triggering an oversold for the dailies. And um, for the 30 and 60 minute, it's just oversold. It's not extremely oversold. And with all these aggressive moves down, we've been going into the extremely oversold um, area before we turn around. So, <clears throat> but nonetheless, we are oversold. We're oversold on the uh, 60 minute and um, we could watch for that to play out. That may be um, the scenario that we're looking at, looking at, looking at. Um, so I was looking at bonds yesterday, um, but we're just going to look at. Um, so bonds yesterday had an inverted head and shoulders on them, um, but they're also in a, uh, a flag um, on the daily. So A bear flag on the daily. So if they break that bear flag on the daily, then the bonds are going to go down, force interest rates up. But if they break the inverted head and shoulders, bonds are going to go up, force um, interest rates down. Now, as far as the daily looks, that's a pretty strong bar right there um, for the interest rate. So, I mean, you, you know, you'd want to get involved with that bar and, and, and take it up, although it's closing the gap. And But if you look at the 30 minute, um, It could be a consolidation. You got to watch. I could break the bottom and become an evening star. So we got to watch and see what um, interest rates do. The momentum's looking pretty positive, but the momentum's fading off on the daily. So the intradays are looking pretty positive. We may pop up into this a little bit and then turn around. Um, if the interest rates start going down, you're going to start seeing equities uh, go back up. Although when we look right here, I mean, yo, look at this. Everything's kind of green. Everything's so green. I think um, Ackerman started buying millions of shares. So um, he's the guy who runs Pershing. Um, I mean, that's a good indication that um, some smart money is, is, is finding a bottom here. I mean, I think he just became um, the in the top 20 shareholders of, um, of um, Netflix, top 20 uh, largest shareholders of Netflix. So now he has some influence on the company. But, you know, that's quite a commitment. You, you know, I mean, he's feeling good about that. He, he's obviously trying to buy at um, the best price. So, but I, I mean, it looks like people are bottom fishing. It. Again, just worry about the retrace. Watch for the retrace to the downside. Let's look at the S&P and end on a uh, happy note. Um, okay, so 
Yeah, yeah. We're just going to look for these um, flags to trigger, fail, and turn around. You even have that case on the 30. Here's the flag. It triggers, fails, turns around. So that's what we're going to look for. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to say I'm neutral right now. Just, yo, just can't call it. Just can't call it. Um, anyway, um, good luck today. Um, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. I appreciate all that. Join me on Twitter. We got a few trades off. I was really busy yesterday, so I only really uh, was able to tweet one trade, you, you know, because I got to hit the treat. I got to, I mean, really, when you're trading, you really have to focus. It's very, very um, um, distracting, um, you, you know, streaming or anything. When, when, when I'm streaming, it's not bad, but then I get caught up in the chats. Um, yeah, you know, when you're doing this, you got to be glued, you got to be reading the charts, reading the screen and anticipating what's going on and getting ready for your moves. So, um, and then, yet, you know, closing your position. I mean, it's all very hands on. Um, so forgive me, but I try my best to do some tweaks. So anyway, join me at trading underscore off and, um, maybe sharing some tweets. Uh, there's an, uh, uh, um, uh, an opportunity there to tip your host. So you can throw us a few bucks, all the money, whatever support you give us goes to uh, supporting the channel and, um, and, and, and building the channel and, and building our ability. Um, I throw some um, educational videos out there. If you look in the playlist, you can get a good idea of how I trade, what I do, what I look at, um, and, and different um, um, strategies that I use or ways to read the charts. So go back there, take a look at that stuff. That's good stuff. Um, all right. So anyway, uh, remember, calm, cool, be at peace when you trade and good luck trading.